let's go to the next one. Uh, you see, when it comes to this topic, section B, please take note, you should understand the graphs. You see the same graph is coming over and over, but for the first time, we're seeing a shift of the supply curve. Uh, before we were seeing a shift of the demand curve, right? Oh, but let's see. Yeah, shifting to the left, shifting to the right means increase in supply, decrease in supply. And you see what increase in supply does. It makes a currency appreciate. And in a decrease in supply, it makes the rent, um, what? Here it appreciates, here it depreciates. Right, which supply curve indicates a decrease in supply? Okay, that will be S2. What type of exchange rate system? This is a free floating used in South Africa. I mentioned it before. Explain the term exchange rate, the rate at which one currency is trading for another. State one factor that could lead, that could have led to an increase in supply of dollars. Okay, so why are dollars being oversupplied? An increase in supply of dollars that means they are supplying the dollars and what are they demanding the rent so it could be that they want to come to South Africa yes it could be because of you know depends on when it was if it said here 2010 uh, the answer would be the World Cup they were coming for the World Cup yes right use the above graph to explain the effect of the increase in the supply of US dollar. Okay, so increase in supply of US dollar, the effect will be that the US dollar will depreciate. Just like I said here, if supply increases, the rand, if you remember, I said the rand will appreciate. And if the rand is appreciating, it means the USD is depreciating. So the supply of dollars increase SS to S1, and the equilibrium point will be E1. And so look, if it changes from 1s to 11 to 1s to 10, it means that now you need less rands to buy the same dollar. So the rand is stronger and the dollar is weaker. Okay. And then uh, let me see, use the graph to explain the effect of the increase in the supply of USD. Oh, so if you don't explain this way, you could explain it the other way, but you are saying the same thing because yeah, if the dollar appreciates, the rent is depreciating. And if the rent depreciates, the dollar is appreciating. So it's always the opposite. That's what I've been saying. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment, we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.